Agents, this is Luis Moreno here with Simply Health Insurance Agency. All right. Question that I get that I received uh, from a subscriber and also one of my downline agents is, Luis, how do I split a household when I'm doing an ACA application? In other words, let's say that you have a husband and a wife, okay, a married couple, and the husband's doctors or medications are best with this plan and then maybe the wife's doctors and medications are best with this other plan can i do two different ones or do i have to keep them the same that's a really good question i'm going to answer that question here in a minute but before i do that make sure you comment okay make sure you give me the thumbs up please i'm trying to really grow this channel and subscribe to my channel and share me please 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 share me all right so let's get straight into that question. Okay, so I am running a quote right here, okay? So it's a 35-year-old uh, a female, 40-year-old male, and you'll see here in this scenario, let's say that I go into some docs. I put some docs in here, I put some medications, and you know I do my thing and I find out, well, some of the docs are in this plan for one person, and some of the docs are in another plan for this, but they're just not mingling. Unfortunately, as far as I know, on the quote section, you can't do it. Okay. Uh, it doesn't give me that opportunity. But here's what you will do. You will just select the plan. It doesn't matter which one because you're going to be able to change it on after you complete the application. But just go on here. Click add to cart and start the application and go through the entire application, okay? You're gonna get an eligibility. After you get that eligibility, this is where you do it. Okay, all right, so you're gonna see, so here's the eligibility, you download it, okay? Then down here at the very bottom of the screen, you're going to see, want to choose different plans for different applicants. Okay, that's what you're going to want to see. Okay, now, once you've seen that, okay, uh, you'll go down here and and you, you're going to click. Uh, see, you will also have access to shop multiple plans from the final confirmed plans page. This is where you'll see the link for the first time if you have not done a double redirect. Okay, so you'll see it here, shop multiple plans. Click it. Now, when you click it, this is what will happen. Select which applicants you like to shop for. So what you're going to do is you're going to create some groups. Okay. Maybe the group uh, in this scenario where we're talking about a couple, group one will be the spouse, one uh, the husband, and group two will be the wife. Okay. It doesn't matter. So you're going to pick uh, Dwayne Curtis right here. So you choose his name. Okay. And then what you'll do is once you choose his name, you will go choose a plan for him. And then you'll come back and then you'll choose the spouse, put them into another group and choose another plan. And then what will happen is if there are any subsidies that the group or that the, that the entire household is getting, the subsidies are gonna be applied with some kind of algorithm, I don't know how, but they'll get divided uh, into uh, each group, okay? Uh, let's see here. Is the same thing by default? Any applicants that have the same plan will be put into the same group, meaning they'll have the same premium pay plan. Okay, good. All right, so that's kind of what will happen, and this is what it will look like. Okay, so as you've done that, then you'll see okay, you chose one plan here, you chose another plan here, and then it'll, it'll, it'll divide the subsidies, and then you're good to go. All right. Subsidies. The premium subsidy for the household will be portioned out between applicants using a formula from CMS. So you're not going to be able to determine we'll put more here and put more there. It's going to go ahead and do that. Okay. When you shop for multiple plans, you will see the premium subsidy portion for the applicants you're shopping for only. Uh, okay. So that's kind of what will happen. Pretty easy thing to do, guys. All right. Um, pick two different plans and you're rocking and rolling and you're all set. All right. Thank you. I hope that was very helpful for you guys. Remember, uh, comment, uh, give me the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And then down below, I got a lot of goodies for you guys. All right. I've got my agent CRM 
uh, affiliate link. If you do not have a CRM, you need to have one, bottom line, okay? Uh, you can use mine. I got a lot of workflows that I share with you and anything I create in the future, you're going to get, okay? And, and talking here about ACA, you should remember that you definitely need to have the consent and the confirmation, okay? I do that through my agent CRM. I have workflows already built for that. So you don't have to worry about it. You enter the client's name into the CRM and you uh, hit uh, 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 consent. They get an email or a text, whatever way you want to send it to them. They reply back with I consent. And then you go through the application and you send them a confirmation along with the uh, finalized page section. And you're good to go there. They reply back. I confirm that all the data is correct. And then you're 100% compliant and you're good to go. Okay. So, um, and then I also got my Facebook ad course. Uh, down at the bottom, you want to get that. And then I have my ACA 101 course. I update it every year. I'm fixing to do some new updates now. Um, but uh, you know, if you're if you're with another upline and you don't feel trained or you don't know what the heck you're doing, go get my course. Okay, it'll pay itself off. Thank you, guys.